Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k uh, Rogue Trader. My name is Hyken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, Unfair. And Unfair it certainly is because this is not only normal Unfair, but it is Rogue everything Trader. cranked up to the maximum Unfair. Love it. Uh, so far we are doing very, very well. Uh, the last fight was a bit of an iffy one, but no, it was on. our own fault. Uh, on. The only people in the prime team that ever went down were the ones that uh, were shot down by our own uh, yeah, recklessness, so to speak. So this time I promised to do better. This team is absolutely busted. I like the, the characters, I like the combination. It feels feet. like a breeze to go through these fights. So let's see if we can continue that. Not sanctioned to do this. All right. Hunt brothers, take heed. Join me Careful in here. Let's not run into problems uh, right from the beginning. Operation successful. Powers unseen uncover my power. The Emperor sets my path. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's lore warp. Nope. Triumphant as always. Predictable. Very good. My warp sight reveals something. Gosh, this is definitely going to be. A chaos horde. Perfection. Examine the cogiator. You know enough to determine exactly what happened to so the machine glitch projections, otherworldly sounds from inside. Everything points towards uh, scrap code infection. See what the device is coated with. Cogiator's case is covered with uh, scratched symbols and uh, signs, tickly smearing in a pungent, oily mass. You smell uh, tiny bubbles emerging from the gleaming metal. It's almost as if the melodorous slime is sleeping from these scratches like a sweat ooze from the pores of human skin. Data crypts. Find a way to deactivate it. You spend a lot of time trying to establish a connection between the countless switches. Um, at least you manage to complete the data uh, logical network, tame the rampaging system, and force it to di disengage the data crypt. We got a key stick and dented data. And we're breaking the cogiator in good fashion. How we did it beforehand, we're going to do it again. Volatile servitors and mad technicians. Intriguing absurdity of your struggle amuses me. <laughs> oh, Vox schools, couple of combat servitors. All right, let's give it a good go. Heinrich Ulfar are standing there. Cassia here. Pascal there. Argenta. I think Saiken will stand here and we're giving it a go. Saiken, as per the usual, is the first one to act. Baba's guides me. He's all uh, for extra stats. And a bit of that. Destiny and uh, a lot of that. All far moves up, pushes this guy on the ground. Perfect option for him to uh, let one lose. That and that. And we give them a very hard time. Lovely. Normal hit. We're still building up uh, versatility here. None can do this better than a warrior of the old father. Oh yeah, keep it going, old far. So it 
Lovely. See how the wolf succeeds. Uh, I think we're just going to take normal shots here. Uh, Ulfar <laughs> just continues to move forward because why not? Good. Use his uh, ultimate. Okay, I think we are doing very well for ourselves. I hunger for battle. Fantastic. Heinrich gets seconds. his turn as well. Buffs everyone. For the throne himself. Defense. Is he going to go in? Potentially. Hmm. Let's now we're giving Ulfgar uh, that extra buff. I won't object to it. Three temporary hit points for him and Natural. we're giving ourselves a little bit of strength. Alright. Uh, that costs us quite a bit of veil, but I think we're still fine. All things considered. Unfortunately, can't move, which really is unfortunate. I won't waste my time on that. Ravage and conquer. Step aside, the navigator is coming. If I may. Good. Um, I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Cassia moves up here. Can we get these guys together in one place? The answer is yes. Very good. Let's make sure Ulfar survives, which we're going to ensure with the buff. Kaf uh, Cassia buffs herself. And that combat servitor is just forced to stay there. Oh, look at that. Who would have guessed we got another finest hour? Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. So, we're using this, and this and that. And the volatile servitors just uh, went out like it's no, man, uh, no man's business.
Moving up. Free reload and devastating attack should have put him at a yeah, it's just a small reduction of his ballistic skill, but that's still okay. I challenge you, damn get. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Right. A little bit of buffs. Kaze gets a couple of uh, physical buffs and we're just going to check. So this is 2,100 points of damage and we looted a new staff. Uh, which also deals 1,000 points of damage. I mean, uh, that's not bad at all. What a satisfying device. 1,700 points of damage. Holy shit. Oh my lord. Rejoice in battle. Okay, let's Start with As the Emperor commands, I act. shooting this guy. <laughs> the combat servitor has a hard shell, but you know what I'll they say: Doubt hard shell, weak core. <laughs> Faith without deeds is worthless. Into cover. Get the Technomat down. Fantastic hit. As the Emperor yeah, we're just going to go to town with a combat servitor. <laughs> Without deeds, if this is why I was chosen. As the Emperor commands, I do you, my Emperor. Mind you, we already have <laughs> armor penetration, so it's not like you, my Emperor. I haven't it. skilled it, but these things seem to have exceptionally high armor. Two hundred forty percent. Yeah, that is us overtuning the enemies. Eh? For the weak. <laughs> but slowly but surely, you more damage is coming it. through. This is unacceptable. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. I have
have read tomes of military tactics. Okay. If I may. Our agenda gets a few new turns. I am a navigator, not a servitor. I will bathe Which she can use in order to fury. bathe this in righteous fury, like she proclaims she wants to do anyways. Uh, might as well use multi-shot. There you go, with a little bit more stats, uh, she is doing very well. Let's try this again. Faith without deeds is worth <laughs> Very good. Despite his like 300 armor class, he has nothing on us. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain, isn't this a job as duty demands? Very good. Haven't even moved up. Uh, haven't even moved Pascal so far. It's still round number one, and we're just going through this here like hot metal. Like a hot knife through butter is potentially the better way of saying it. Pascal misses. That's unfortunate, man. Running by Eric override. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. All right. Uh, how about all far? You get that uh, once in a lifetime chance. To completely and utterly erratic. Uh -oh, uh oh, we're not going to fall for that trick again. Because if we shoot Pascal, he's dead with one shot. And look at that 700 points of damage just with a single shot. Not gonna lie, that was a pretty Triumph. convincing first uh, turn. Always. Think about it, the enemy hasn't taken a single turn. Uh, the whole meta of this game has shifted towards alpha striking. Like it's not even XCOM levels of alpha striking. It feels, for those of you who are familiar with uh, Magic the Gathering, feels like a kind of blue-green deck where you are um, setting up one of those um, infinite combos and the, uh, the opponent just cannot do anything. They are essentially just saying GG, you got your combo, you win. Let's seize the opportunity. This team is ultra strong. The burden of failure is the most terrible punishment. The world will bow. Dang. Power 
is unseen uncover my path. Can we somehow get through that passage? I wasn't expecting that we actually fail this. Hmm. I tread a path unexplored. Very unfortunate. I mean, look, we're Embraced at the epicenter of uh, of the generator room. I was hoping we could modify anything or stop the ritual, but apparently that's not the case. Back to the tech sen uh, sanctum. So, as I was saying, this group here uh, feels a bit like enemy is not allowed to take any turn, and we do have de facto three super hardcore damage dealers. Well, Cassia, to a degree, is also hardcore in her in her own rights. So it feels like four out of six characters uh, just have enormous amounts of damage. Argenta, Ulfar, Saiken and Cassia all have heaps and heaps of damage. Then on top of that you do have Pascal who has a huge support function not to be underestimated and to be fair um, he by himself also hits for three four hundred AOE uh, damage so the plasma the pistol is not to be uh, underestimated by any stretch of the imagination. So he is, I would say, is a backup uh, DPS, but uh, mainly all of uh, all of his power come, or a lot of the power comes from just being adjacent or close to others and giving them extra damage. And then Heinrichs um, with a buff, a buff slash um, tanking routine. That's crazily strong as well. My I better myself myself. When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. Let me tend to your wounds. I'll survive. Let's proceed. I always survive. All right, Argenta. It doesn't look very Speak, good for her. Edfater. What lies ahead? An enemy, I hope. This exploratory is less functionality. Still new to the art of Very good. So, point that I'm trying to make with all of uh, that uh, reflecting is, I think that the group. Pay attention. I think that the group actually has a heap of damage and with all of their extra abilities to uh, to generate more and more rounds beneath my feet the enemy just can't really uh, work well we do have basically two small turns at the very beginning then two turns that are always always at the beginning of uh, the combat then i do have another item that forces me to go first in combat so it's three turns so it's five turns by itself pascal six turns so six turns before any of the enemies can go and then um, due to us being able to immediately use our ultimate uh, then that's at least one to two other uh, turns on top of it anyways the dirty disheveled woman pays no heed lowering her head and looking to the ground with genuine interest it's something that is either does not exist or is invisible to your eyes. Even at the distance, you can detect the distinct smell of ozone. Too fresh uh, for the stuffy room, reeking of sooth and industrial lubricant. The woman raises a maimed uh, hand um, and absentmindedly runs into two remaining fingers through her matted hair. She's a psyker. I can feel the warp emanations rolling around her. One of the cultist prisoners. How did she manage to get out of there? With an unnatural roar, 
uh, the psyche rose up her features are dropping melting like candle wax her swollen lips part reveling sharp teeth and her bright orange pupils expand to fill her eyes completely psyche slumps to the ground and the smell of ozone gives way to a disgusting sulfurous stench that is unfortunate man Powers unseen uncover my power. Centuries of service and practice. Pretty sure we're now on the other side. Yep, I figured that that is exactly where we are. Both strong and wise is Ulfa. I tread a path unexplored. Okay, time for our last and most aggravating battle against uh, the World Eaters, which will be interesting to see how we're go uh, how we're dealing against, yeah, a proper end boss with all of these overtune stats. I mean, our party is OP, but so I um, I created all of the enemies uh, to be even much harder than the normal um, the normal unfair difficulty so by definition it should even out but we're having a bit of the upper hand at the moment I feel that our party is slightly uh, too strong Interesting. Down there we have word bearers already. I'm restless. What deeds await us? All right, Argenta, please. The Emperor sets my path. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. I better myself through my service. The world will bow. Good. Let's see what that cogiator is up uh, to. Good. It glitches otherworldly sounds from the inside, oppressive atmosphere in the room. Everything again points towards scrap code. Um. Check for data crypts. Examine the lock. Deactivate it. Heinrichs, have you ever seen something like this before? Another manifestation of the same corruption. Heinrich pries a side panel open. Um, after swearing and wiping a single face, the interrogator managed to pull uh, a bunch of wires and cut the cables, causing the cogiator to shut down. The claw also uh, holding the data crypt unclenched helplessly. All right. Uh. Powers unseen uncover my path. I love it. We're fighting against that true chaos space marines now. Bad. He knew the joy of battle and I don't think that we can avoid those uh, things. I don't think that we can avoid them. Uh, the question is, will we need to fight or not? And that's a good question. Fight. 
fate beckons me. I tread a path unexplored. Laughable. Oh, boy. Are we really playing silly games? The pain where each of uh, these things... Oh. That means I need to individual steer everybody through this. Fantastic. The Emperor sets my path. I'm watching your back. Always. My ascension has only... Join me in prayer. Let me tend to your wounds. Your help suffices. That's an anti-fun mechanic. Gotta individually lead every single one through this here. So, and I need to go all the way around here just to get up there, really. Take. All right, let me move everyone to here. Okay, it took long enough. There are the good old uh, space wolves. Oh, look at that. I think we have not found the other machine. Collect the blood of the false believers in a cup, reap the pitiful strives, drink their sorrows, and the laughter of the true gods will thunder in your ears. Albert says, I'm the wrath of the Allfather, and his wrath is to be dreaded. Traitor of uh, the uh, 17th, I will have your head. Stand aside, young wolf, baleful howls are here, the prey is yours. Baleful Howl attack. Alright. Cry out proudly, the warriors of Russ will never retreat. Wolfar sings a melody and we're ready to go. Can we not talk that much and instead attack this machine? Please. I fear you not. For I am fear incarnate. Unto the devout the thing the is, coming in at a uh, whooping 4,500. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Heinrichs. Ulfar on this side. Um, we got Saiken, Argenta, Cassia, and let's start the battle. Bit of this, Purpose bit of that, guides me. and Wolfar takes a full turn. Hand. Let me uh, guess. I was about to say that uh, this thing potentially has like 5 billion armor, but I was wrong. Actually, it does not. Start with the Space Marines. So shall it be. Feel the icy bite of death. 
couple of good hits. I like that. All right, Ulfa, come on. You can get him down. There we go. Good, I think we're just moving to here. Ouch. Alright, Ulfar uh, stands pretty close there. Gotta be careful. Heinrichs. Um, four starters. That thing needs to take more damage. I won't object to it. But oh, we're at pretty high levels already. Don't like that. I won't object to it. Naturally. Did we successfully taunt it? I think the answer is no. Let's see to it. How is that possible? How can Perch Soul only deal 66 points of damage? These are Chaos Worshippers that should be 150% on top of it. Good. Moves to here. If I may. This Isn't a little this bit defense. Uh, that just costs uh, the thing thousand hit points. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Okay. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. That's not too bad. I mean, I will triumph. Where's our gender, by the way? Oh, she has been pushed back. I see. Argenta gets a couple of extra buffs. There we go. We buff ourselves and amidst the carnage, I find purpose. Yeah, that's not bad. This is even better, I think. Unfortunately, we can't hit all three because that would hit ourselves. 800. Let's just double check. I wouldn't be bad either, but I think we would hit ourselves, so I'd rather go for this here. And we're blinding the doom stack. Okay, cool. Agenda moves up. I'll 
do it. Begins to move over here. As the Emperor commands, I act. Starts to rain hot Doubt bolter damage on the doom screen. Why, I was mm. Fabulous. I'll do it. <laughs> As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Oh, look at that, Argenta. My good Argenta. Doubt is for the weak. <laughs> Faith without deeds is this. Is when her I Space Marine it. friend Ulfar is in danger, I, by the way, As want the to commands, um, pinpoint that he still has all of it. his hit points. Just the temporary ones are gone. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I. <laughs> Nice, Argenta gets all of the nasty buffs, right? We're looking at extermination and cataclysm. Faith without deeds is All right, phase two. I fear not blasphemy of the diluted, for it is promised to me. With my eye of flame I pierce the hearts of the doubting, for it is granted to me. I rue the false faith, I stand in the true path, and I will not be forsaken by the protection of the true gods. Do not interfere. With fire and vigor, our emperor and viewers. All right, we're back to uh, full hit points almost. Kasia is still laying on the ground there, pushed back. Fabulous. Well, listen. I will triumph. Olfar Destiny gets his full turn. And uh, he starts by moving over here. Couple of hits, very good. Single shot attack, I like that. Good, we're continuing to hit. I'm just building up the stacks. But that wasn't even necessary. In the boat of the true gods, there is neither time nor prohibition. What is reflected there will endure forever. I was, and therefore I am eternal. Doom scream will resound in your ears. Wolf arm, let's <laughs> be taught to you, young wolf been handed down so let this be your last tread not upon your elders prey look over to help right judging by the sluggish movement the young wolf is alive but not entirely entirely lucid uh, a storm cloud of heavy bruising is spreading across his handsome face. What was that contest between you? We clashed in a dispute of valor and inspiration. 
battle filled the true warrior's heart with joy and oh no that's the wrong dialect um uh, battle f um, gosh damn it my my scottish accent is escaping me battle f uh, fields a true warrior's heart with joy in his mind and piercing clarity and we are on Fenris hold in a special honor those who rise above the fray and share their joy with their comrades as your pack's honor being upheld the successful name of the baleful owl was not tarnished in this battle all right which means we can continue our conversation a glorious trophy the dying enemy rests gurgles shocking blood uh, the hellbrood's uh, legs buckle and somehow remains upright as if by sheer arrogance the heretic lives long enough to fully partake in the agony, and when all four finishes, he is clutching the bloody horn uh, from the chaos warship's head. All four swiftly carves a protective rune into the proudly proclaims. Noble Hellbrand, it would be unwise for me to come with you, I think. It will be some time before you are well. And I do not want to have to answer for the old father should you die. Let no one say a worthy warrior met his foolish end because of Ulfar. The world trembles beneath my feet. Nice. Well, the problem here is all of that stuff is potentially heretic, right? Astati's chain axe, that's pretty damn good. Embrace true power. Adeptus is the chain sword. The wield against the relentless rage ability. Uh, this ability reduces the wielder's current armor and deflection by half until end of battle. However, the wielder's critical damage is increased by two times. Ooh. that's ultra hardcore because with a lot of armor you can effectively become nigh, uh, nigh opportunity. Uh, unstoppable with uh, all of your with all of your damage that you are dealing so ability reduces wielders current armor and deflection by half so we're looking at a pretty sizable amount of 45% and deflection is 8. However, critical damage is increased by 2 times reduced armor, so that's 90%. Uh, and the melee attack damage is increased by deflection. Wow. 90% more damage. That's, that is sizable. And then they uh, got some Astartes Storm Bolter, which de facto only Ulfgar can, can actually carry. The question is, do we want that Flamer? Which is also very, very neat. But so far we have never had the situation where we needed to spray multiple enemies. Um, with a flamer, maybe I should use it more often. Can't really think about whether or not I want that uh, uh, that trophy. Mm. It's pretty good. But I also like his tankiness because if you have not uh, just noticed it, but his de facto 18, uh, um, 16 deflection and 95% armor have essentially saved his life. That was pretty impressive as well. So I think we're going to leave it as is. 
uh, both of it actually also although hmm, having a second weapon and he has a lot of rate of fire here and a lot of ammunition uh, as well so with that that would be a burst of 12 shots hmm I like the idea the question is what else are we going to use just double bolter don't dishonor the wolf with such tasks oh uh, that's a two-handed bolter as well it's just has more shots okay I see well we're going to figure out whether or not that is good it has a little bit less armor penetration but I think it's fine because that will allow him to not reload but instead use the other bolter okay I'm good with that I am good with that. So we're we're still not uh, at Euron the Cruel, and we have had quite a few fights so far. So Intriguing. potentially just going to be yet another episode uh, where we are uh, fighting through this. But this is by far one of the best fights that I had. Trader? Or one of the best dungeons that I had in the entirety of the game so far it's absolutely great I like it so uh, we're just going to continue with it the next time um, until then thanks a lot for watching guys and we're going to see each other in the next episode have a good one and bye bye